now I say I'm a humanist. So that is a life stance. Atheism is a conclusion. Rationalism is a way of uh, investigation. And uh, humanism is a life stance. When I grandly declared to my mother at the age of 11, there is no God. Her reaction was, oh my child, you came to this conclusion at this young age. So I think my mother was a closet atheist and unable to express herself because of the orthodox background she was in with four children, a husband and a Brahmin family and everything else. But as we grew up, she started expressing herself openly. And when she died, she was a total atheist. That is one. Secondly, Abraham Kohu. He is the man I met in 1976. And when I met him, I thought that like him, I too should retire from my job. He too was a teacher. He was teaching in a college. Like him, I too should retire and do this for full time. In 1981 or so, I met Prema who had a presentation which he called as the Divine Miracle Exposure Campaign. That particular way of getting across to people struck me as an excellent and so I joined with him and as we went on he sort of uh, started looking upon me like his successor. a residential colony. An old man limping with a walking stick comes and tells me that bloody ba 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 man. I'm so glad he exposed me. I spent 20 years of my life in his place thinking that he'll cure me of this arthritis. It became worse and worse. Then I realized that he is a total fraud. And here I am today, limping. All because I went there and did not get any medical facilities. Just telling you one instance. I can tell you so many instances of, I mean, it's only anecdotal. Statistics have been kept by one organization near my door who started giving questionnaires to people after our program was over and they found a lot of change in thinking of the people once they attended the workshop. December used to be all over the country because the Children's Science Congress used to be somewhere and on my way there and on my way back from that I used to visit places, do these demonstrations and make people ask questions and I do not know to what extent I have used. I can only say at this age of 70 plus years that I have tried my best. I do not know what I have accomplished. But I think there has been some impact. The very fact that you people are asking me these questions means that your lives have been impacted. Right? So that's it. There are only literate and illiterate people. And literacy has nothing to do with education. You may be literate in engineering, you may be literate in medicine, you may be literate in science, and yet be uneducated. Because education has nothing to do with literacy. Education should have taught you logical thinking. It should have taught, taught you reasoning. But it has not. So the in England, when I went to some Children and all the they say, oh, it's magic. So, and here, you produce vibhuti from thin air. Even a 90-year-old man will come and fall at your feet. So, education has no meaning in this country. It is just learning by road. It is conditioning you to earn a living. True education is a very rare thing. So, there are windows and these people enter through these windows. There are gullible idiots and there are psychos. 
slight roots enter the brains of the gallievable areas through the windows in their brain. And these windows may be something, some childhood experience, some guru they follow, some beloved person who attests to the genuineness of the so-called and maybe an ambition. For example, you, took the, uh, you mentioned about midbrain activation. Ambitions of the parents. Each parent thinks that his or her child is the most misunderstood genius in the whole solar system. And these people prey on that. They say the misunderstanding has been because of some minor glitch in the brain of your child. We will set it right through over this gizmo or that uh, technique. And that's why gullible parents fall for it. Nobody is asking you the formula of the paracetamol that you take or its molecular structure, but yet you take it, right? Do not bother about the chemistry of it. Similarly, nobody is asking you about to bother about the structure of the brain, but just to apply your common sense whether anybody can see without light falling on the retina. And even that people do not want to do. They want to go in for so-called simple explanation because of their gullibility introduced in their minds from their childhood upbringing, unquestioning acceptance of authority. Nobody questions authority. This is how it develops. Right from the childhood, the mind is conditioned, conditioned to accept authority blindly. And the result of that you see today. If you are talking about people not being able to keep up, how are they able to run their WhatsApp accounts? How can they post on Facebook? How do they Photoshop? Are these uh, not the technological things? Don't they do that? So, it is the conditioning of the mind, the very ideas, which most of the people are unable to get out. But most of the things, understand them. You just need high school level science. Yeah. For example, if you take the COVID mRNA vaccine, nobody is ask, going to ask you for the triplet codon or the mechanism of uh, protein biosynthesis. How mRNA will bind to the ribosome, how tRNA will be in the amino acids, blah, 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 blah. They're just asking you that this particular sequence stands for something which is function at the body. And if you don't want to understand even that much of science and say that some company is adding magnetic material to it and may make your whole body magnetized, what sort of stupidity is that? This is what I've been seeing. That it will create magnetism in the body. It will uh, generate electricity. If it generates electricity in the body, to throw away all your, uh, cut off your power connection and use that vaccinated spot for all your lighting and all your power needs. Right? But this is the sort of nonsense that is going on. Even people with common sense are not questioning. So, there is no need to understand the complexities of but there is need to have some common sense, which a lot of people sacrifice. This match with the gallibility of it has become a tool which the purveyors of superstition are doing. And they have got a very convenient excuse. These are not outside things. These are all Vedic technology. It was there in the Vedas. So it's not any foreign thing. All the knowledge came from India, from day to day. But once the BJP government came, the Rajputus came into the picture. The double Mr. Jaggi and the other uh, winking contortions, they all became Rajgurus. And of course, the ruler cannot overcome the Raj Guru's uh, sayings. So, pearls of wisdom came 
I should say, not dropping, flying out. And uh, the ruling party is quite clever in that. See, Ayush ministry recommendations are for the common people, not for the top guys. See, the minister was in it, Shikant Sipad Naik, Ayush, uh, minister for state. When he got COVID, he did not take Chavan Crunch or take sugar pills. He went and got admitted to Armed Force Medical College's hospital. So you can imagine the hypocrisy of this. Did these fellows take Chavan Prash and sit? They got vaccinated. They did not eat Chavan Prash and go out without masks. And when the Home Minister got COVID, he went and got admitted into a seven star hospital. He did not go to a nature cure uh, clinic. So I think it's a sort of Roman service on as a show and the very purveyors of these ancient wisdom they have the latest technology look at the bikes choppers the latest audio equipment everything but for the common people they advise simple living and life but I do not know why people do not see through the hypocrisy of such Claims of ancient science are all a hogwash, meant for consumption of the common man. See, for the defense of the country, they went and made a deal with France and Lord Jirafai. They did not try to build Pushpak Viman looking at ancient texts. And when it came to protecting the people from COVID, nobody distributed tons of Chavan or Koronil. They went for vaccination. Right? So, all these things are a very clever show. They are talking about an octapeptide. There is only a difference in some one amino acid composition. And, you know, casein will not be absorbed as such. All proteins are digested into polypeptides and individual amino acids. This octapeptide, which is different in A1 and A2, was supposed to be causing all the diseases. By the way, most of the casein in India is A2 because most of the milk is buffalo milk. They are promoting unpasteurized cow's milk as a panacea. And uh, in Mangalore, I see my neighboring flat, people buying it for 100 rupees a liter. That too, it is brought from a place which is 40 kilometers meters away, especially for these people because they can do sort of thing. And that to desi cow, that to organic milk. See, all these gemmics have got people who are who take simple as Not that milk is a very essential thing, but for these people, milk is omelette. And they say that uh, cow's milk is nearest to composition for human milk. It's an absolute lie because cow, the closest thing is donkey's milk, as far as the chemical composition goes. As far as the immunoglobulins and the other properties go, there's no comparison between milk of two species, mammalian species. The Volker was killed by Sanatan Sutra, highly brainwashed. And day after he was killed, there was a meeting in Bengaluru. We had a protest meet outside Vandashankari shopping complex. Because I had a national level workshop going on in Karnataka Raja Vishnana Parishad at the same time. And in that, I put a proposal that just like the so called Anti Superstition Act of Mahamash, we should have one in Karnataka. And Gauri supported it. And next day, papers carried the items. Yes, we put forward the campaign, and two separate drafts were made. One by National School of Law, 
which had formed a committee. Otherwise, uh, the Harvard Law University. And in both these functions, Kalburgi was the chief justice. Next person to be killed is the Then an attempt was made on my life in March 2007. I escaped that because I was very quick. And perhaps providentially because I had started my two-wheeler, but I just started it to check the battery and then I went back. If I had gone by two-wheeler, I would not have been here today. That time, Gauri Lankesh calls me and tells me, be careful of how very it is. And in September 2017, Gauri Lankesh is 50%. Later on, when things were being investigated, there was a list of people who were to be finished. There was a list of 20 or such people. And the list came on. I was happy. Oh, my name was not there in that. Good. But it turned out that it was only a waiting list. There was a confirmed list. And in that, Girish Karnad was one, Bhagwan was one, I was the other, and then Nirma made a much more there. So, we four were on the confirmed list. And actually, they had even assigned who is to kill. I was to be have the privilege of being finished by the same man who killed Gauri Lankesh. So, there was a method to this that those who stood for the anti superstition, so called anti superstition, actually it's not. And Pansare is not there in the picture, probably for some other reason. But all of us are identified as enemies of him. See, the logic of Sanatan Sanstra is that if a Peter says something or a Muhammad says something, you can say, talk about Jesus Christ, you can say, talk about Allah and Muhammad and things like that. But when a Kalburgi says it, and a Narendra says it, and a Gauri says it, it's very, very difficult to do anything about it. You cannot say that he is a Muslim. His Punya Bhumi lies outside. So they try to label us as communists. And they think Pansare, of course, their common interest of these people is that they want to promote superstitions. And we are in the way. And probably because we have had an impact on the people. That's why they want to finish it. Otherwise, they will seem just like magician. Now, he is doing magic things, giving something like this here. But later on, they came to realize the ideology that is behind our humanity. It's not just doing some magic, but it is making people change their thinking. They had a function at the Pune, and I was supposed to speak. At that time, I had no inkling that I was on the list, but Dabalkar was. When I get off at Pune from the bus, Dabalkar comes and says, hi, let's go. I said, hey, I'm the Dabalkar. You are under threat and you are supposed to be under protection. Where is the policeman guiding you? Ah, Chodhaya. If I take police protection, they'll kill somebody else. Better they kill. So that was the attitude of Narendra Dabalkar. Uh, Karnad, Irish Karnad was the one who led the delegation to Siddharamaya, asking him to implement the act. And Kalvigi was killed. We had a big public meeting. And after that, we went to Siddharamaya, asking him that this act should be made into law. And uh, just before that, there was a meeting, public meeting with thousands of people. Two ministers of cabinet had And I asked them, Dabalkar was killed and we asked for the act. Kalburgi was killed and we are asking it to be made into law. How many more of us do you want to be sacrificed before you may are going to enact a law? And you know, it was enacted as a law in November 2017 and Gauri Lankesh was killed on the 5th of September 2017. Ironically, what I said, and in that, 
Nirma Mary Mat Swami also had taken the lead. So it looks like there is some link between them. But Bhagwan has been like a loose cannon, always attacking these. So he has been at the center of. except with a few exceptions like Buddhism and Jainism which in theory are more uh, rational. How can you expect people to be rational and believe in say the karma theory or a supernatural theory or that say the castes atheists I am not atheist to say that there is no God, but caste system has a biological basis. What do you say for that? An atheist who says there is no God, but the men and women cannot be considered. A bit atheist. And right now there is a brand of Hindutva atheists, the Savarkat types, saying that. Of course, all this lots and all of nonsense, but it's an ancient culture that needs to be interpreted and preserved. These are all a part of it. So, to be a rationalist, one has to put God, the ultimate, the top of the pyramid of the superstitions, to the test of reason. Without that, how can one control himself? One can say that I believe in a religion, but I am trying to become a rationalist. But I don't think we have got any charter of a list, a checklist, one, 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 two, three, four, three. And if you take 10 out of these 10, you are a rationalist. We have about 80 organizations. In which there is something called Muslim Satishodak Mandal, Samiti. So, a rationalist organization is something, a group of people who want to reason out, debate out, and go towards reason, apply more and more reason in their lives, and change themselves. It's like a pyramid like this. You start climbing to the top and only when you reach the top you understand that all these things. What I tell people is from the bottom of the pyramid try to climb to the top, not stay with you. That's all I can say. I do not expect that everybody will be able to follow the strict standards that I have set up for myself or some of us must be set up for For example, not doing any religious ceremony when your parents are sitting. Not having any religious ceremony for events like marriages. Refusing to undertake any religious rituals. Can everybody do that? I've done that in my life. I do not know whether I can expect that. But I want to show that one can live without following symptoms and one can die also without following symptoms. For example, my body already donated to the medical college and I already told my people that no ritual should be done and no uh, ceremonies to send my soul to heaven or we are just this body and this body. Once we are dead, we are dead. That's all. We use particular techniques, and uh, I do not know how relevant those will be in the future. Right now, they are quite relevant to us because I go into the historicity, show these things, and say that these were the old generation things and now the new generation things are like this, like midbrain activation, all these things. 
and maybe let's be maybe magnetism points to keep because things change with time when i went to greece on greece television there the cognitive television show there they showed the yuri jellers uh, bending the spoon trick and i got a huge response for it i was wondering why they said just a week back yuri jeller had come here and there so what when i went to australia there i showed the indian how to get trick of stopping the heartbeat and the pulse and they were very much impressed or they said no oh, you just think realize that it was so simple as that so we have to keep up with the time we have to keep up with the culture we have to keep up with the place and be an example to the people because everybody claims you cannot live as a rascal and people kept on telling me oh see when you when you appear for exams i appeared for exams and got to university fees then they said we'll see how you will get married i got married so see how you what you do when your parents your parents i didn't do it now they are saying see what will happen to you I'm already old you know so tears what more do you want like premanand he was on his deathbed call me before i go into coma or something come and take my declaration so i gave a declaration is there on this book because people come out with the last minute change stories saying that when he died he said oh god and died the things like that. so premanand said Right now I'm conscious, and to my last conscious moment, I do not believe in this. So, what I say is, practice what you preach, or what you believe, or what you hold to be the truth. That's all I. on one side fundamentalists of one group can see that oh our people have succeeded to may embolden them on the other side fundamentalists of other side may point out see they have taken over there so we are justified in our fundamentalism so true secular fabric of this country is going to be under a lot of strain and I hope it will have the strength to bear with this sort of thing that is going to happen Uh, the Talibanis are not using sticks and stones and axes and swords. They are using the latest technology that is available to them. That is the most funny part of it. All those who are talking about ancient glories and glory of their civilization are using weapons which are made in the places where the conditions are totally different. I've complained on so many consumer issues, and most of them are related to non-science and rationalism. Also. So there's a close link between rational thinking and consumer awareness. Also. Some false advertisement that comes under the consumer. So you can use that act. And again, for false claim, there are a number of other laws. For example, there is uh, this flux and magic remedies objectionable because, and there is a list of diseases. In February 2020, to this list, the government of India added COVID-19, and I was very happy because. Uh, Could uh, make any advertisement of anything that could prevent or cure is a criminal offence. But uh, as it turned out, it was made use of by some. But many got away from saying that it is some preventive, in good things, general to like boosting the immunity. Even such ads have got removed by complaining to ASC because they are not based on evidence. So claim everything is a immunity boost. Our double mister who had the 
first advertised his uh, what he called the Shakti drops as immunity boosters, switched to saying that pollution removers and strengthens, and now he has switched back to immunity boosters. The ones COVID. There was one man. His name is Vijay Kumar. He had some apparatus called as Cytochrome, and he said it was a cure for cancer. And uh, I fought that, and the ad got removed from Hindu, and the whole thing became a flop. Now he has come out with a new device, some some other fancy name he has got, it, and he says that will kill the COVID-19 virus specifically. And uh, he is advertising it. And somebody went to the Advertising Standard Council of India, and some two three companies stopped the ads. But uh, he says it is approved by FDA, USA. So all this nonsense keeps on going around. I leave it to my young colleagues of craft everything twenty. Let us try and work. We have got a huge lot of people, and we have got superstition starting from that of the upper middle class to the garib on the streets. Let's try and make them understand. Commitment and a motivation. Please try for that.